As part of their basic training, every editor should understand how to do color correction using the waveform vector scope. Many editors do not have the luxury of having a broadcast monitor. Instead, they must rely on their PC screens and consumer TVs as monitors. These two do fine when it comes to framing and arranging the content, but to get proper color, you must use a waveform vector scope. In 3D, color correction is even more important. If the color on your right and left images do not match, you can create 3D that causes visual distress to the viewer. In the most basic sense, the waveform measures the brightness or luminance components of the video signal. The vector scope measures the chrominance or color components of the video signal. It's all well and good to know the definition, but how do we make this work with our video? Let's change our stereoscopic mode to side by side. There are different color scales based on the medium that you are using. For high definition, we use the color scale called BT.709. First, let's talk about the waveform. The waveform can be compared to an X-ray of your image. It measures the various degrees of luminance. Luminance consists of brightness and contrast. It does not look at the chrominance. That's what the vector scope does. I'd like to make a point of distinction. We are not talking about color grading or creating a look. We are talking about setting the proper parameters for both the color space and luminance of the picture. The image in the waveform of a Mongolian boy playing an instrument does not really look much like an x-ray, but look carefully and you can see the outline of his shoulder and the separation of his jacket. I'm going to switch images now to our friend the turtle. Here you can not only see the image of the turtle, but you can also see the diver. Let's play and watch how they move. Now that you have an understanding of what you're looking at, let's see how we can adjust it. The lines on the waveform go from negative 20 to 0 to plus 100 all the way up to plus 120. These lines are IRE. 0 IRE stands for black, plus 100 IRE represents white. IRE is a standard of measurement used for luminance. IRE actually stands for Institute of Radio Engineers. It's a very old term and the institute that it was named for is now called IEEE, the Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers. We want our video to have good blacks around zero IRE or slightly under and good solid whites around 100 IRE or slightly over without clipping at the very top of the waveform. Clipping occurs when the waveform has been chopped due to the inability of the camera's sensors to record any additional luminance information. This can be caused by improper exposure settings. We will apply the color balance filter to make some basic adjustments to give you an idea of how this works. Let's think of the brightness as your balance adjustment. With it, you balance your levels between 100 IRE and zero. Next, think of your contrast as the overall volume. As we increase the contrast, we expand the image between the two points. We work between these two controls to get a correct image. Notice that as we balance these out, most of our image lies in the area between approximately 30 to 70 IRE. As I said before, in 3D it is critical that both images match. To test this, all you need to do is to toggle the L and R buttons. Notice that the left is slightly brighter than the right. This isn't unusual. Right click in the information window on the color balance filter. Next, click copy. You now see two identical color balance filters stacked on top of each other. Notice here the L and R to the right in the information window. 
On the top one, let's turn off the right, and on the bottom, let's turn off the left. Open Right Color Balance, and we will adjust to correct the problem. We increase the brightness, and then we toggle back and forth between left and right, checking the waveform. And now, we see that the levels are matched. Notice that just by properly adjusting our brightness and contrast, the luminance of the image, we have got a much better looking color image. I'm going to switch to an image of a Simpty color bars. Notice the vector scope now has lines that connect between the green, yellow, red, magenta, blue, and cyan. Going back to our turtle, you can see that we bring up the chroma just a little bit to enhance the chrominance of the image. You must adjust both chroma settings for both the left and right views in order to ensure proper color matching for 3D. Without properly set up brightness and contrast, there is no way to get good color. Edia 7 gives you easy, accurate, and professional workflow for your 3D color corrections. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.